हेलो वेलकम बैक टू योर हिस्ट्री क्लास विद अ वेरी न्यू चैप्टर वेमेन कास्ट एंड रिफॉर्म इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल रीड अबाउट द स्टेटस ऑफ द वीमेन इन इंडिया इन नाइनटीन सेंचुरी द वीमेन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन विच वॉज ऑन द पीक ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम एंड हाउ दे वर ट्रीटेड दे वर ट्रीटेड जस्ट लाइक अ स्लेव और अ मेड इवन इन देयर ओन हाउसेज ऑल्सो along with that we will also talk about the other discriminative issues of the society especially the caste one which has stopped the development in the society and personal development especially to the poor and the untouchable 200 years ago things and conditions of the country were very different from today's today's society is far better than from that of 200 years ago there was injustice done to women in the past society society was divided into different caste also over time many of these social evils got extinct or on the verge of getting extinct see all these changes have not been brought within one day or two days reasons behind the slow and the gradual change in the society and getting it transformed includes the development of the new form of communication it means there were some lack of communication and because of that only these things were appear in the society social evils were often taken as debate by indian reformers such as raja ram mohan rai then and the saraswati and so many and the reform group in an attempt to change the society of that time practice the debate with the conclusion for improvement or betterment of the society in this chapter we will talk about raja ram mohan roy in detail he was also known as the pioneer of the new india also Raja Ram Mohan Roy in 1772 he was born and died in 1833 formed reform association known as Brahma Sabha and later on it was known as the Brahma Samaj in Calcutta he brought drastic change specially related to the sati system because he was very keen to spread western education in the country and bring freedom and equality for women he began campaigning against the ill practice of sati which was particularly moved by the problems faced by the widow in their lives so what is this sati system in the early days sati a virtuous woman was a custom where a widow has to emulate herself on her husband's pillow or committed suicide in other fashion willingly or unwillingly with the dead body of her husband to so roy raja ram mohan roy writing shows that ancient texts do not sanction any of the widow burning according to him there is nothing legal in this system so he wrote or he condemned this practice even the britishers also criticized the indian traditions and custom not all but some with the efforts of raja ram mohan roy the sati system was banned in 1829 the later reformers also adopted the way of raja ram mohan roy which was which he had adopted they used a to find a verse or a sentence in the ancient text supporting their points supporting their points of view as challenging a practice seemed harmful see this practice of sati means zabardasti pati ke sath uska bhi dahan kar dena another thing was child marriage 
it was also it was also prevailed in or existed in indian society in the early 18th century many of the reformers many of the reformers also condemned this among them the most important was ishwar chand vidyasagar ishwar chand vidyasagar another practice was also there that is known as the polygamy this polygamy means a person means a boy or a male is having more than one wife so all these social reformers also condemned these one okay so in 1856 widow remarriage law was passed by the britishers after the suggestion by famous reformer ishwar chand vidyasagar who claimed that ancient texts suggested that widow ca- could remarry same in the south same in the south veer salingam pantulu formed an association for widow remarriage intellectual and reformers in bombay also pledged themselves to work for the same cause means for the improvement or the betterment of the women in society founder of the reformer association arya samaj swami dayanand saraswati swami dayanand saraswati also supported widow remarriages conservatives continued opposing the new laws means those who still follow the old system they opposed these type of new laws many reformers thought that the education of the girls was necessary in order to improve their condition so pandita ramabai pandita ramabai one of the prominent name in this was an indian christian who tried to change many things in india a poet a scholar she tried hard to improve or make better the lives of the women in india she wrote many books including her popular the high caste indian women which showed the troubles of the child wives and women in india most of the educated women were taught at home only by their liberal fathers or husbands some educated themselves for example the most important name is rasa sundari devi who secretly learned to read and write in the flickering light of the candles at night means during the day time they were not allowed so during the night she start learning so schools for girls in punjab by ar samaj and in maharashtra by jyoti rao phule was set up women association were also developed in north india especially the women for the women muslim women household to read the quran in arabic some interpreted verses from quran to urge for the women education this was rega- in regard to encourage women to read about the religious and the domestic management in language they could understand but by the 1880s 1880s women began entering in the universities means for higher education many started because of these type of women like pandita ramabai they started writing critical views about the women in society for example tarabai shinde published a book istri purush tulna criticizing the social differences between the men and women pandita ramabai i mean sanskrit scholar she wrote book on miserable lives of the upper caste hindu women and founded widows home at pune seva sadan providing shelter for women there she trained the women to support themselves economically some women not only limited themselves to write the books and but also joined the various nationalist and socialist movement from 1920s after independence after independence also full suffrage 
was promised to women means right to vote and men by nationalist leaders these are social reforms and also criticize the caste inequality they also criticize this caste inequality as all of you know that our caste our society was divided into different caste like the brahmins the kshatriyas the vaishyas the shudras and then the dalits the untouchables in an effort to get rid of caste prejudices many reformers violated caste taboos Christian missionaries began setting up schools for tribal groups and lower caste children equipped with some resources to make their ways into changing this world because these lower caste people were actually downtrodden people no one paying attention to them poor people began leaving their villages looking up for jobs in cities some also went out of country also they also they all saw this an opportunity to get rid from the oppressive method of the upper caste land owners and every day they were facing the humiliation so they find the new way to get rid from this to escape from this situation so by the second half of the 19th century people within the non brahmin caste began organizing movements against caste discrimination and they demanded social equality and justice for all for example the sect and the movement were formed to go against the ill caste practices with their leaders from non brahmin caste trying to change the habits and practice which provoked to contempt of dominate classes they tried creating sense of self esteem among the subordinate or the lower caste jyotirao phule jyotirao phule one of the most important vocal leaders among the low caste people was born in 1827 and studied in school set up by the christian missionaries carried so many reforms he attacked brahmins who were claiming their supremacy since they were aryans he claimed that he claimed that before the rule of the aryans there existed a golden age or a golden era when warrior peasants tilled land and ruled the maratha countryside in just and fair ways the satya shodak samaj all these important terms are there in your book also you have to underline those one well. the satya shodak samaj was founded by him propagating caste equality in 1873 jyotiba phule wrote a book named gulam giri means slavery he established link between the conditions of the lower caste in india with the black slaves in america we had already read about the black slaves in america's condition in our mall science books also so the movement of the caste reforms continue in 19th century sorry 20th century by leaders like dr b r ambedkar e v ramaswamy etc dr bhimrao ambedkar who was born in mahar family experienced caste discrimination in everyday life after finishing school education ambedkar went to us for higher studies after getting a fellowship after his arrival back to india he wrote extensively about the upper caste power in contemporary society means during that time in 1927 he started temple entry movement and mahar caste follower participated in it three such movements were led by dr ambedkar for temple entry between 1927 to 1935 he aimed at making everyone to see the power of caste prejudices within the society earlier 20th century uh, experienced the non brahmin movement non brahmin caste was getting access to education wealth and influence 
earlier it was not given to them brahmanical claim to power was exchanged uh, sorry was challenged extensively rama swami naikar or periyar a leader from the south became congress member left a congress in disgust when he found that he also experienced very badly at a feast organized by the nationalist seating arrangement for the caste discrimination lower caste were made to sit at a distance from the upper caste he founded the self respect movement he believed that untouchables had to free themselves from all religions in order to achieve social equality he was an outspoken critic of the hindu scriptures especially the codes of the manu the bhagavad gita and the ramayana the forceful speeches writings and the movements of the lower caste leaders did lit to rethink king and some self criticism among the upper caste national leaders the debates the struggles still not over so they continued even beyond the colonial period and are still going on in the present time also we should try to get rid of all these thing and we should try to do something better for our women better for the society that's all in this chapter